हेलो लिसनर्स एंड वेलकम टू आर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम डेली करंट अफेयर्स अपडेट्स दिस इज योर आरजे प्रियंका एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले वी बिगिन आवर टुडेज एपिसोड विद आवर वेरी फर्स्ट डेली अपडेट व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ डिफेंस ऑपरेशन दोस्त इंडिया वेंट ऑल आउट टू हेल्प क्विक हिट टर्की सीरिया under operation dost india is sending a field hospital medicines and rescue teams to earthquake ravaged turkey and syria the 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck while people were sleeping on february 5th flattening thousands of structures trapping an unknown number of people and potentially affecting millions Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus the head of the World Health Organization has warned that time is running out of the thousands of people who have been injured and those who are still believed to be trapped the death toll from the earthquake has surpassed 9500 now let's move forward to our second daily update which belongs to the category of sports gymnast deepa karmakar handed 21 month ban after failing dope test Deepa Karmakar a star gymnast has been banned for 21 months after failing a dope test administered by the International Testing Agency despite claims by Indian officials that her suspension last year was unrelated to a doping offence Karmakar's dope sample collected out of competition by the ITA an independent organization that manages the anti-doping program of the International Gymnasts Federation FIG was found to contain hegemonine which is a prohibited substance under World Anti-Doping Agency code Now let's move forward to our third daily update which belongs to the category of sports Kerala won inaugural National Beach Soccer Championships title Kerala won the National Beach Soccer Championship title after defeating Punjab by 13-4 in the final at Dumas Beach in Surat. The game was a rematch of the group stage which Punjab had won by 6-5. Delhi defeated Uttarakhand by 3-1 in the game for third place. Santosh Kashmir of Kerala was named the tournament's best goalkeeper. Rajasthan's Amit Godhara broke the record for most goals scored with 27. Kerala's Siju S was named the tournament's best player. Now let's move forward to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of defense. Defense Ministry inks deal with LNT for procurement of 41 modular bridges. The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with Larsen and Tubro LNT for procurement of 41 indigenous modular bridges worth over rupees 2585 crore for the Indian Army Corps of Engineers providing a significant boost to the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative. A modular bridge is made up of modules that can be quickly assembled in the field. The bridges were designed and developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO and will be manufactured by LNT and DRDO nominated production agency according to a statement from the ministry. Now let's move forward to our fifth daily update which belongs to the category of sports. Saudi Arabia to host football's 2027 Asian Cup. Saudi Arabia was confirmed as the host of football's 2027 Asian Cup during the 33rd Asian Football Confederation AFC. Congress at the Gulf Convention Center in Manama an expected prelude to a World Cup bid as the oil-rich kingdom spends heavily on sports in an effort to improve its image. The three-time champions successful bid was a formality after their sole rival India withdrew and was rubber stamped at the Asian Football Confederation Congress in Bahrain held just weeks after Gulf neighbor Qatar hosted the first World Cup in the Middle East. Now let's move forward to our sixth daily update which belongs to the category of banking. A set repossession module for banks and NBFCs launched by Mobicul Mobicule, a debt collection expert, has announced the release of the M-Collect repossession module, an industry first for banks and NBFCs. As part of its debt collection and recovery product, the revolutionary asset repossession solution is a comprehension solution that maps all the complex processes in asset repossession. Mobicule is a pioneer in providing solutions that use mobile technology to digitize processes and improve efficiency 
As a result, the launch of the M-Collect repossession module is positioned as a natural extension of the company's debt collection platform. Now let's move forward to our seventh daily update which belongs to the category of national. G Kishan Reddy launched Visit India Year 2023 initiative. In New Delhi, Tourism Minister G Kishan Reddy launched the Visit India Year 2023 initiative and unveiled its logo kicking off the year of grand plans and activities to promote tourism in the country. The minister stated on the occasion that the launch of the Visit India Year 2023 logo is taking place in this important year as India heads the G20. According to him, over 1 lakh foreign delegates will visit India this year and they will be expected posed to the full range of indian culture including monuments and festivals now let's move forward to our eighth daily update which belongs to the category of agreement nasa and ibm partners to build ai foundation models to advance climate science NASA and IBM have collaborated to create artificial intelligence AI based models that will make it easier to mine massive data sets in order to advance scientific knowledge about Earth and assist the world in adapting to a changing environment. According to NASA, the collaborative work will be the first to apply AI foundation model technology to NASA's Earth observing satellite data. Foundation models are AI models that are trained on a large set of unlabeled data can be used for a variety of tasks and can apply knowledge from one situation to another. Now let's move forward to our ninth daily update which belongs to the category of national. Amit Shah laid foundation stone for India's fifth nano urea plant in Deoghar. Union Home Minister Amit Shah laid the groundwork for the Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited's IFCO rupees 450 crore nano urea plant and township in Deoghar Jharkhand this will be the country's fifth nano urea plant nano urea will benefit farmers and it is already being exported to five countries mr shah said as he laid the plant's foundation stone nano urea boosts crop productivity soil health and produces nutritional quality while addressing the imbalanced and excessive use of conventional urea now let's move forward to the 10th and last daily update for today which belongs to the category of awards Grammy Awards 2023 Ricky Cage Bengaluru based composer wins his third Grammy Music composer Ricky Cage based out of Bengaluru has won his third Grammy award for the album Divine Tides Stewart Copeland drummer of the iconic British rock band The Police who collaborated with Cage on the album shared the award This duo received the Gramophone Award for Best Immersive Audio Album winner at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards. Last year they won a Grammy for Best New Age Album for the same album. Cage won his first Grammy for his album Winds of Samsara in 2015. So with this daily update we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Updates. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.